Look, you find all kinds of stuff when you... How does that even happen? <laughs> <laughs> how does that even get in there? So we've got my 2021 Ford Raptor here. Um, it is a Gen 3 Raptor. Um, the Raptor R is on its way out right now, which has the red tow hooks. I saw it, I love the look of it. I've got one on order, hopefully it'll be here soon, but I couldn't wait. So I decided to grab some of these from Royal Hooks, made in the USA, all aluminum construction, nice painted red color. I'm gonna take these old plain dull hooks out of here, throw these guys in here, and I think I should be able to do it with one tool, which is a 15 millimeter in wrench. So we're gonna see if we can get this done in one tool, $250 upgrade and completely transform the front end of this truck. Even though it's a beautiful looking truck now as it is, um, we're gonna make it pop a little bit more. So let's get into it. All right. So we have our Royal hooks here. I'm gonna set them to the side. We've gotta get the old ones off. We have a couple of dust covers in our way. Um, it's gonna take a 15 millimeter socket um, and there's two bolts in here. One needs to come all the way out. The other one just needs to be loosened. We can push it back and pull it down. Um, if you look here, um, so these are the ones that are going on here. You've got one hole uh, that needs to, the bolt needs to come all the way out of the existing one. This one, if you push it back, the bolt will actually come through this hole and then you can put the new one on there and then slide it forward, tighten that one up and then put the bolt through here. So it should be pretty easy once we get it uh, off of here, but getting it off is gonna be the difficult part. Also, this being a Raptor is going to have this nice skid plate here to kind of protect some of the undercarriage. Um, a normal F-150, regular F-150 doesn't have that. Um, so that is gonna be another level of difficulty in our way. Um, but I'm gonna get in here, turn the wheels a little bit, see if I can get some access to that back bolt, get it loosened a little bit enough to come out of there and take the other bolt completely out. We'll take this off. We're probably not gonna put the dust cover back on at all. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. All right, now that we have the wheel turned out, um, I'm gonna try to go ahead and get this first front bolt out again 15 millimeters and this dust cover here is a rubber dust cover so you can kind of pull it and move it around as you need to this is going to take me a little while because again i'm doing this with one in wrench um, i'm going to try to do it with one tool see how hard it is to break um, but i may end up getting a ratchet and we'll see if we need to do it with a ratchet but let's get started oh that's easy to break it's just going to be time consuming because I got to do a lot of rotations on that, but it's already broke free. And it's just hard to see because this cover's in my way, so it's just getting in my way constantly. I'm really not going to have my feelings hurt if I hurt it because it is probably not going to fit with the new tow hooks going back on there. So I don't even need it on there anymore. All right, so we broke it. I think I'm going to swap to a shallow 15 if i can get a, a 15 millimeter socket on there got a ratchet and a shallow 15 millimeter socket for it so let's see if we can get it off of this a little bit faster so with this rubber dust cover being in my way it's probably gonna be easier for me to actually put the socket on the bolt and then try to put my Ratchet on the socket. Actually, I don't even think that's going to work either. All right, we got another option. I want to try to take this dust cover off and try to at least manipulate it to slide it out of my way a little bit. So let's try that. Now, I may be able to slide this back a little more, get it out of my way, and then hopefully. Hey, there we go. Now I have all the access I want. I watched videos on F-150s and they took the dust cover off when the hook came off. Um, but that dust cover looked a little bit different and I think this one's a different style because we do have this skid plate here. So I haven't seen any done on a Raptor that actually had the factory skid plate, the factory tow hooks. Um, so yeah, definitely highly recommend. That dust cover will come out of your way. There's a couple clips there um, that you can push in and then pull this 
seal around this area here and it pulled right out so didn't break it didn't hurt it nothing um, so now I have access to this front bolt so we should be able to get it out of there and then the back bolt is going to be the difficult one but hopefully having the wheel kicked out like we got it now hopefully I can at least just get it loose enough with that end wrench that we can get it off and we will be using the same bolts uh, for the new hooks is what's coming off right now we don't have new bolts provided so we'll just be using the same ones which is fine we have no damage to these this truck only has a few thousand miles on it so it's basically like new these are rated to tow this truck out you know so these would be a nice long hardened bolt so there's our first bolt now we've got to get to the back bolt in here but again uh, I might be able to, I have such a limited area for me to work with that even right here, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it out very easily. So what I'm going to try to do is go from the inside of the fender well in here and then take my end wrench, come up from underneath and see if we can get it off that way. We're trying to get this bolt off right here, but the issue with the Raptor is this skid plates in our way. And so we actually have this mount this drop down right here with some bolts into it and on a regular f-150 you wouldn't have that so you'd be able to access that pretty easily from underneath the car or from right here at the side of the tire like i'm at um, but with this being a raptor and having this skid plate it's not going to be very easy so we're going to keep trying um, i might be able to get a few turns on it if i get it loose enough i can actually get it out of there without it needing to come all the way out so let's see if we can try that look you find all kinds of stuff when you how does that even happen? <laughs> <laughs> How does that even get in there? It was up in the in the channel, the chassis. Something either drug it in there. When was the what's the date on this? I wonder if somebody they manufactured this truck and threw it up in there. December 28th, 2021. That was my birthday. I didn't own this truck December 28th, 2021. I didn't get this truck until March of 2022. So this has been in there since the truck was new. December 28th of 2021 is the expiration date, or guaranteed fresh until. So either somebody had an expired chips and they ate after I owned this truck, which I highly doubt, or these were put in there before I even took ownership of the truck. This truck, we are in 2022 now. This truck had a microchip shortage on it, um, and it did sit for a little while, I think at the Kentucky uh, Motor Speedway, um, waiting for some chips. Not these kind of chips I was waiting for. I was waiting for microchips. And uh, so, yeah, I ended up getting this truck a few months after that while it was waiting for the, the microchips to come in. So maybe something happened in the, the field out there or Ford is playing a little practical joke on me. But it is pretty funny that that expired on my birthday. This is going to prove more difficult. And I'm really trying not to take this skid plate off just because that's going to be really difficult to do. So I'm hoping I can do it without having to take it off, but it's looking like that might not be possible. Um, and all it is is these bolts have a welded nut on the back side of this, so I'm not having to hold a nut or anything. I've just got to loosen the bolt itself and the nuts stay in place. Ah. Always love that sound as a mechanic. Mm. You're wrenching on stuff. <laughs> So back to the toolbox, got a 15 millimeter end wrench with a ratcheting uh, boxed in on it and uh, another one so I can get some torque on it and uh, we're going to try to get it out here with this. I know I'm trying to be lazy by not taking this skid plate off but I think it's like six bolts maybe to get it off of here but I really want to try to do everything I can at first without having to worry about taking it off and then we'll kind of go from there. So I'll put this on here like that. There we go. This is the good old knuckle buster right here. Hey, we got it loose. You could do this with a regular with a regular in wrench, but ratcheting is gonna make it a little bit faster. And all we have to do again is get it loose. See how the hook is now loosening up on us. Drop that out of our way. I don't need that anymore. I wanna get it loose enough that I can slide the hook back. Just drop that out of our way. Slide the hook back. There we go. 
Get it out of there. Yeah, so we had to take the front one out completely. The back one, if you see here, it was in this place. All we had to do was loosen it up enough to slide this backwards, and then it fell down through here and uh, fell right out of place. So still leaving this one in place. Um, and uh, we'll uh, try to go ahead and pop the other one in there. And hopefully that one's not going to give us any issues. And we have to take the skid plate off because this one's pretty accessible and easy to kind of work around. The other one might be a little bit more difficult. So let's see. Since I am using the same factory bolts, if you look, this is a much thinner profile um, and than this is. So what I'm gonna have to do is loosen up that back bolt a little bit more in order to make sure that it gets over this thickness. So what I think I'm gonna do to keep this top uh, bracket that has the welded on nuts, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this bolt back up through there like this. So to hold it steady and I should be able to get my ratchet right here on the back and I should be able to loosen this up enough to give us that extra space that we need for the extra thickness of these and this is much faster let's take this back out of there I know everybody's going to be talking about my watch because everybody knows me for the watch guy and I have a Apple watch on dead in the middle of the shot but I knew I was going to be doing this today and I didn't want to grab one of my Rolexes or one of my nice watches and have it on my wrist, forget that I'm working down here, and next thing you know, I'm messing it up. So I was like, you know what? If I'm going to be doing this today, I'm grabbing the Apple Watch because I feel naked without a watch. So I think we loosened it up enough. I can at least hand do it now. So let's drop this other one out of our way. I can loosen this up a little bit more if I need to. And there we go. Should be able to slide this up now into our little pocket that we need it in yep just like that perfect it just fell right into place so then we'll tighten that we're probably going to need this end wrench to tighten it a good bit but that's all right because we got this ratcheting end wrench which makes it nice and easy That took me a lot longer than I thought it would um, because this dust cover was really in my way and watching the videos that I've seen on other F-150s, they just kind of moved it out of the way and it was nice and easy. Um, this one, like I said, because it has the skid plate, I think it's a little bit different of a mount than a regular F-150, but luckily we had this nice 15 millimeter um, end wrench that had the ratcheting end on it. Um, that made our lives a lot easier. I think I over torqued this, so make sure you do torque the specification when you get done. Uh, but it was really easy to get out of there. Um, and I kind of over torqued it uh, just so, uh, you know, just because it definitely has to be torque on the bolts. But always look at your torque specs. Um, and learning what I did wrong on this one, I'm going to move on to the other one and hopefully have that one done in less than half the time. So let's get started on that one. So step one is going to be taking this dust cover off. Step two, we'll take our ratchet and get the 15 millimeter front bolt off and then take our ratcheting end wrench and get that back bolt loosen um, kind of almost all the way out from the white. Then take it all out, pop the new one in, torque it, and have a nice cool looking red hook in front of the truck. I'm loosening the back bolt. I didn't put the front bolt in on this one because I think I can hold kind of the angle I'm at right now. I got a little bit of a different angle and I know what I'm doing a little bit more. Um, I can hold the plate that holds both bolts in, the mounting plate. I can kind of hold it in place and it allows me to ratchet versus it kind of dancing around in there. I'm able to hold it with my left hand here while I loosen the back bolt to get around for the, you know, to compensate for the thickness of the new hook. So we're ready for the new one now. We got the back bolt loose, so all we have to do is put in this hole, slide it forward, tighten it up, and then we'll be able to get the front bolt back on. So all I'm trying to do is hold this straight um, and square with the truck. 
uh, as well as holding pressure out on it. Um, and I'm holding that pressure out because that back one, you know, locks in place. So I don't want it to kind of get in a weird spot um, where it gets too close to the edge or anything else. So I'm trying to pull outward on it as well as keeping it kind of straight so it doesn't shift left to right and kind of look a little askew to the truck. So that's all I'm doing here. And all we gotta do is tighten it up and we're done. So there you have it, change the two tow hooks out. I think it gives the front end a beautiful appearance. Um, it's already a super cool looking truck. And uh, now I think with these red tow hooks, it's gonna even look a little bit better and uh, stand out a little bit more on the road. Um, so yeah, there you have it. And uh, I think for an extra uh, thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these dust covers off the fog lights that come factory. And then we'll definitely change the whole front end up with this truck. So let's maybe run with it like that for a little while and see how I like it. Why don't you just say the whole project should take you? It might be a little bit difficult. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, so this project should take you 20, 25 minutes maybe once you have the right tools that I've given you. Um, you kind of learn from my mistakes. Hopefully, it'll uh, speed you up a little bit. Um, took me about 45 minutes to an hour to get it done, but uh, like I said, right tools, everything, you should be able to knock it out in 20, 25 minutes. So let us know in the comments if you like what we did upgrading the truck, what you think it looks like, and also if you like doing upgrades on the vehicles that we've done. Um, we've never done that on the channel before, so if you like it and you want to see more of the upgrades that I do to my vehicles, let us know in the comments for sure. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe. So there you have it, 250 bucks, 20, 25 minutes of your time. And you got a Raptor that looks like the new Raptor R that's coming out, that's a $120,000 truck uh, and less cost than that. Um, and I think it has a nice aggressive look to the front end now. Um, I love these hooks from Royal Hooks. Again, I got them in a day. More color options than just the red on their website. Check them out. Um, yeah, I can't be happier. Turned out great. <laughs>